I was here four years ago, I wouldn't have anything to present to you on beta alanine. That's how new this supplement is. In about four years' time, there's now been about 25 studies. Away. So, this is one of the real emerging strong supplements. The, the guy, Roger Harris, that kind of shepherded this in, and I'll show you a picture of him in a second. He's the same guy that brought creatine to the world uh, 20 years ago. So he's um, kind of a mad scientist in that way, and we all know how big creatine is. It's a multi, multi-million dollar supplement. And I can see beta alanine going uh, in the same way. So I know I have a real range of people here. Uh, very few people have a science background, so I'm going to just step everyone through nice and slowly. Again, if something doesn't make sense, just shoot your hand up or just yell at me, and I'll try and re-explain re it. I first want to cover why buffers would improve performance. What is the physiology during intense exercise? What is lactic and lactic acid and acid, and why does that shut down the muscle? And, and why does that limit performance? I'll then talk a little bit about beta alanine and how it's a precursor to carnosine. I'm sure you've heard both of these terms, like what are they and, and how do they interact together? And then finally, I'll talk about how when you increase carnosine contents, you can get an improvement in performance, and I'll show you some studies on that. 